Welcome back from that break. All right, we have our guest in the studio. Monday in your bunk is right here. Good morning. It's good to have you. Good morning, Cecilia. Um, great to be in the studio. It's mm. it's quite a very very trying time, like Tyo said, off yeah. air. Um, I quite don't know how to react because some of the stories we're hearing are quite very scary. It's mm. frightening, even, and. It's, it's, it's just about being safe out there. It's been uh, how, it's about ensuring that people are very, um, very careful about the things um, they do out there. If you don't necessarily need to be outside, stay at home. It's, yes. it's, it's the message out there, stay at home. The guidelines from the government, the NCDC, people have to strictly follow these measures because it, it's quite very scary when you're hearing top class footballers, coaches, celebrities, just anyone. Anyone could be vulnerable to this very deadly virus. So it's it's important that people keep the safe, safety measures and, and just follow the guidelines through and through. Yeah, everyone's got to be responsible in these uh, very, very uh, delicate uh, times indeed. And of course, we're going to be getting a reaction uh, to the biggest, uh, the most topical uh, sports uh, issue in the world right now, the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And uh, we'll be doing our countdown. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to suspend uh, the countdown until further notice when we get uh, Anshola, I imagine, is somewhere watching and saying, I told you guys, <laughs> we're going to suspend it. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, Tokyo 2020 is suspended. Uh, your immediate reaction to that Monday? I'm surprised it took this long, actually. I'm quite surprised it took the IOC and um, the Japanese government to reach this decision because... It, w it wasn't rocket science. It was, it was clear for all to see when the European, um, the Euro 2020 was postponed, the Copa America was postponed. There was no chance whatsoever that the, Olymp the 2020 Olympics was going to happen this year, clearly, because you're not, you were not going to assure people of safety in terms of the virus. Nobody was going to come there, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Countries started pulling out. And it looked like at some point, um, if it lasted a little longer, more countries would have joined in terms of pulling out from this major showpiece occasion. It's, it's, it's sad, but it is the right thing to do. Safety is very important. Human liar said it many a times. Safety is more important than, than entertainment and sport. So, it was, it was a decision that I'm sure a lot of people expected and we're glad that they finally came to the conclusion that 2020 um, Tokyo will not happening happening this year. I like the fact that they, they are still maintaining Tokyo 2020, yeah. even though it's going to be played next, it's going to happen next year. Yeah. But it's, it's quite a sad situation really that, f I, I mean, I've been thinking, you know, uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, if someone had told me, or five years ago, that something will happen in the world that will shut down everything, shut down the Olympics, shut down everything, sports, entertainment. I was listening to you guys talking about the boxing, the third day, the rematch between Trilogy. Fury and, yeah. and, and while that's not happening, globally, globally, it's a meltdown, really, in, in finance, financially. It's, it's quite a difficult one, Tyre, really. Sports, uh, economically. Um, everything has been affected, uh, your spot on, and uh, it's just the way uh, things are now. We're just hoping uh, to uh, to bounce back um, with a bank. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're... <laughs> I, 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 I think it's we'll like, bounce back. With a bank? I, not, right. not necessarily with a bank, really, but yeah. we're going to bounce back, really. It's, it's a tough time, and that's why we're, we're, we're drumming into the ears of people, Everyone. keep to the safety measures. We can defeat coronavirus. Mm. If everyone is responsible, I mean, if you do not need to be out there, you know, I was having an argument with someone about, you know, when the Lagos State government came out and said, we can't, we can't condone religious gatherings, we can't condone social gatherings. Mm. And people were talking about the fact that, ah, come on, you can't stop church, you church can't stop is. mosque and yeah. all of that. I said, no, this is a time for everyone to be, to, to be um, very responsible and not mm -hmm. sentimental. Responsible, this yes. is a time for us to say, what is the right thing to do? If we all stay at home, Funnily, if we, if we can maintain social distancing, it is quite easy to defeat coronavirus. Absolutely. It is quite easy. But if everyone is going out, I know people need to work. I know Tyan needs to be here. I know Cecilia needs to be here every day. But 
we can keep the safety measures. The, the lesser the number of people outside, yeah. the That's more the chance of defeating coronavirus. So I know we'll bounce back, mm -hmm. but it will be a gradual process, and really, particularly from a sporting angle, it, it will be a gradual process. Um, will, will fans come straight back into the stadium? I'm not quite sure. It's, I would think. It's going to take I, a while. I would think that maybe by the time. Um, football or sporting activities come yeah. back, they probably start by doing um, behind closed doors really? before yeah. fans, because as a football fan, <laughs> the fans have been stopped. <laughs> One of the reasons that it was actually this one is that we have like, well, 43% of athletes have qualified for the Olympics. The others haven't qualified because, you know, qualifications were being disrupted, it's boxing, you well. know, suspended, taekwondo mm. and so many other uh, events, even wrestling and all that. So athletes were still waiting to qualify. So the ones that qualified, is actually enough time for them to prepare more because they will have more events, more tournaments to attend before the Tokyo. But the thing is, this shuttling of the qualifiers is going to be a huge problem right now. Yeah, big, big conundrum really um, for the scheduling of, of those qualifiers really. And it's it's a tough one for the organizers. It will be a tough one for federations really. Mm. Um, but, but, but we've got to find a way around it because it, it's a very peculiar situation. and. At this point, what you want to do is, is pull out all the stops to ensure that okay. um, you get the, the athletes out there to, to slog it out in the qualifiers and ensure that you get the qualifiers out there before 2021. It's, it's important. And our prayers, our hope um, is that um, the coronavirus would be, defeated, would be defeated before, let's say, April, before June or May so yeah. that things can kicking again I'm, I'm, I'm praying for april yes yeah. I, I, we're, we're praying for april <laughs> well, as early as possible I'm, 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 I'm really hoping that yeah. march will go away with coronavirus yeah. it's been such a dreadful year really. yeah, it's, it's been. when you think about kobe Bryant, you think about deaths in the mpfl yeah. you're thinking australia wildfires remember wildfire uh, it is such a, it's been such a horrible year and we're hoping that March can go away with mm. all this trouble so that we can start really afresh. Harsh. It's it's not the 2020 that we bargained for. Someone was making a silly joke about um, that we used to hear Vision 2020, didn't know it was no, going to be like this. But this it, it, it's been such a very horrible year. But for, for the qualifiers, it's important that they find a way around it. Mm. It's going to be tough, but it might be makeshift. It might be a congested period because, like you said, for only 43% of athletes have qualified for the Olympics. So there's a lot yes. more to be done so the organizers have got a, a job to do and they have to find a way to do it sacrifices oh, will have to be made as well um yeah so let's let's take a look from uh, from the athletes uh, perspective now the athletes that have qualified yeah and, okay and uh, arguably or or arguably the hottest uh, <laughs> Athletes in the world right now is uh, Mundo Duplantis, uh, Swedish pole vote. I was been breaking world records like it's going out, out of fashion. fashion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's looking forward to the Olympics. All of a sudden, he finds out, oh, uh, guys, it's going to be in 2021. <laughs> of course, you know his reaction. Uh, of course. He'll be disappointed. The, the, the huge disappointment, really. But when you wait four years for something. Exactly. And it's something that you've cherished all your life, something you've dreamt about. If you're told, imagine not the only gallo. Yeah. who's waiting all his life to play for my united <laughs> imagine if someone told you you're going to play for my united but next year it's worth the wait yeah. as far as i'm concerned <laughs> okay oh, really? it's worth the wait you can wait <laughs> but, but, but this guy has broken for the world record twice but, this so year fire, so he's on fire so this is the time obviously, obviously he would have been raring to go it's Clearly absolutely he would be he would be fired up he would be excited about yeah. just go there and show the world that you are on top of your game but it's one year it's one year. Come on. You've got okay. to wait for it. It's, you've got to find a way to motivate yourself. It's quite difficult. You know, someone said, someone said that it, it's good that sports is being postponed other than doing it with, with no fans in the, yeah. in, in, in the arena. Of because course. where do you get the motivation from? You know, when you see yeah. at the Olympics at major championships yeah. where you see athletes come out and they are jamming their hands, get wanting a bit of a, a motivation from the crowd. How do you do that with people? No, okay. nobody in the state. <laughs> so, so, and the he knows how to do that very well. Yeah. I mean, you have to be creative this time around, and that's what he has been doing. Mm. And that's where most of the athletes were talking about the fact that, look, even if you're going to, even if the virus is no more, 
uh, before the Olympics and all that. What about the training? Mm -hmm. What about those, you know, you, because you have to prepare yourself. I mean, I understand people break record and all that, but so many things go into it. It take you like six months or there about for you to prepare for a game. Mm -hmm. So even if the Olympics was going to go ahead, athletes like this who have broken world records and all that, just waiting and anticipating, okay, now time for the Olympics, I'm ready now. And of course, then for like two months, you won't train. You're not doing anything. You're making do with what you have to do in your backyard. You know, just try to train whatever way you can. Be creative with your training. Well, that obviously will not be enough for them going into the Olympics. It, it won't be enough, quite honestly. And it's quite difficult. Athletes will tell you that there's a difference between having been fit and being match fit. Okay. They're two different things. Because clearly they'll be doing some of the athletes though. He will keep he will be keeping fit. And some of yeah, them will have gyms, gyms at house, home. Yeah. They, they will try to keep fit. But preparing for a major competition or preparing for a match is not the same way as just preparing just when you're preparing to be fit. It's they're two different things. And psychologically it, it, it is very difficult to find a way to motivate yourself. And, and that's that's the challenge these athletes are facing at the moment and will face in the next five, six months. How do I get myself in top shape? How do I get myself ready for a competition, ready for a match? How do I do it? It's quite hard, but it's something they need to find a way to do. They've got to find a way to do it. A professional athletes and um, Monday, uh, before the postponements, uh, uh, clarity was a major issue for these athletes. Now there's clarity. Mm. They know the games will not happen uh, in 2020. It's going to be in 21. Now just have to rejig their schedule and rejig their training. Yeah, exactly. And, and go again. I know it's difficult. And it, easier it, it, said than it, done. It, it, it is difficult, mm. really, because, uh, like I said, when when you're preparing for a major competition, it's is the excitement. There's a there's a there's a weight of expectation you have upon yourself. You have on yourself that gives you that push to go out there and push yourself every time now there's a bit of margin for error you can you can take a bit you can say okay it's it's next year but clearly this is what separates the champions yeah. from the 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 pretenders, the pretenders. Okay. clearly the because <laughs> the, the champions would say okay it's still one year but i'm going to train as though i'm having it next week i'm going to keep fighting i'm going to keep pushing myself so that by the time the competition comes around, one year sounds like a very long time, but before you say Jack Robinson, you're that's going it. to find one year here. So yeah. you've got to find a way to motivate yourself, and that's what champions do. Mental, mental, yeah. mental. Okay. That's very, very, very important. Yeah, exactly. I remember when uh, Greece handed over, no, when Greece was actually, Greece were handing over the Olympic torch to Japan. The, I mean, there was a prayer there that they hoped that before July 24th, uh, you know, the, defeat, the disease would have been defeated. Now, that was the words they used at that time. So that was the prayer ah, then. The look, I mean, in, in fairness to them, in, so in, you, in fairness to them, sometimes it's, you find yourself in a very difficult situation, like it, the, the world is finding itself, and what you want to do is hope against hope. And mm -hmm. that's what they were doing. They were clearly hoping, they were thinking about the investments yeah. they made, the preparation, so all the money, money they put in. They were just thinking, just maybe, just maybe, something can happen at the end of the day. Yeah. And but human life has to be considered first. Yeah, You've course, got to look yeah. at human life. I don't think you no know, amount of money, a billion dollars, a billion pounds, <laughs> is worth any human being's life. I agree. With, so we should cut them some slack. I think yeah, we shouldn't really be too hard on yeah. on, <laughs> on the IOC. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, yeah, it's a tough decision uh, they had to make and. Uh, Eventually, they've made it, so let's just move on. Yeah. All right, let's talk about moving on. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, before the moving on, at least as to, you know, no yeah, lies. Of course, of course, we know no lies. I mean, everyone, uh, it's actually... It's supposed to be the next um, Usain Bolt. No Perhaps. chance. No it's, chance. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> this, this we will one. never see Usain Bolt again. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we will okay. never. I'll be so, so glad in my one. lifetime if I see another Usain Bolt. Oh, right. There's one in the making, apart from the allergies to asthma. I know he's asthmatic and all that. The 200 meters champion. You know, that's his specialty. He doesn't do much of the 100 meters. But we saw him at the World Champs. Uh, yeah. You know, the way he kind of, you know, just came up and blew everyone yeah, away. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why you, you're, of course, it's hard to see another use in I'm a pessimistic uh, right but, now. <laughs> uh, uh, in terms of personality, this mm. guy is very colorful. Yeah, exactly. He's a rapper. Uh, he can act. He can do all sorts. He's a natural crowd pleaser. Exactly. He, so, but he, you still don't think he's, he's on the level. He's very him. exciting, you know, I like. Yeah. I, I like him. I really like him. I like the, I like the Americans, you know. Yeah. The, the, they are showboaters. They know how to pull up, put up a show. And But in, in terms of 
sheer charisma in mm. terms of just <laughs> lighting up an occasion. True. No uh, one does it like you saying. I, I don't think there's, you know, athletes have tried over the years to, you know, try to put up a show, but the man was born a showman. Yeah, he, right. he, <laughs> he was born a showman. And I don't know how he, he used to do it, yeah. but in the build up to competitions, people will be saying, come on, you saying he's not in, in great form, you saying he's not doing well. But the man brought the party from home every time. Yeah. He brought, he knew how to take up the occasion and make it his. And that's why I'm just wondering, will we be lucky enough to see someone again like you said, but I mean, we would be <laughs> extremely privileged to see a guy like, with all the records, with all the numbers okay. he's had, no one has broken his, 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 his 9.58. Yeah. And we're talking how many years now? Okay, I mean, well, let's just wrap up this segment and just look at the slide of, you know, just uh, latest disruption, Tokyo, of course. Number one. Uh, the latest joining the under 20 uh, athletics uh, championships also postponed. Mm. Africa Senior Athletics Championship also postponed. Mm. Wider and, of course, Fury's uh, at three also pushed back. pushed back to October. So yeah. these are the latest disruptions. Uh, of. Are, there, are there still yeah. any running uh, sporting events out there that we are not aware of? Uh, we'll, every day we'll keep bringing you Sounds more, more, more of it, more <laughs> of it. We, we learn that wrestling sometimes they are using their gym, you know, yeah. for most of their fights and all mm. that to, uh, to wrestle. So we'll, we'll, we'll get updates. Fingers of crossed. The ones that are still coming up. Uh, papers is next, of course. Uh, papers in front. Uh, less of COVID nineteen. I'm loving this one. A uh, mm. sporting sound. My United to hand Igalo six point four billion Naira New Deal. Mm -hmm. And of course, according to Rio Ferdinand, he says he deserved a permanent deal. Permanent deal? Is that, too, is that too early? Right. Are we got to get him carried away? I don't think they're getting carried away. I think he's earned the right to get um, at least a year contract because yeah. it's not really well since he came to the show. And yeah. clearly, um, Ole Gunnar Social said he's been impressed with, with what he's done, the way he's conducted himself. Mm -hmm. You know, remember when he joined United, he didn't go straight into the team. He was isolated for a couple of weeks. Yep. That could have been difficult for him, but he, he kept his mentality up there. And he's a great guy. Yeah. If, anyone who knows Igalo knows his mentality is very great strong. Great guy, great pro as well. Great pro. Mm -hmm. and, and he's done so well. And what you want is somebody, and I, I, I hear is is a favourite among the fans in England. Is a favourite among the players. Everyone likes him. He's quite infectious with his with his character, with his attitude around the ground. And mm. so, one year contract extension would be great. And mm. I mean, Odoi Gallo, AJ to the wall, like the people are saying, <laughs> doing so well would yeah. be very pleased yeah. if he gets of an course. extension to his contract. Of course. Absolutely. And someone transfer or see tops my United. Priority list. Why go. are they linking this guy with everyone? Barcelona, Real Madrid, Tottenham. That's what happens right when now, you're hot, right? I, I, I hope United. he's closing his ears to, to, he, to this. Surely he's, really he's doing that. I, I really hope he why, is why, because why? I spoke he's with young. Him. Yeah, he's young. He's young. He's young. The pressure at Lille is not the same at the United. Mm, the pressure at Lille is not the same at Liverpool or mm -hmm. Barcelona or some of these clubs. And some youngsters have, have, I mean, clearly gone to clubs where, look at Usman Dembele. Yeah. The boy was playing at Dortmund and he, he looked like a world beater. Mm. He's gone to Barcelona and all of a sudden he looks like he's forgotten how to play football. Mm. So it's quite difficult when you go to big clubs with very fanatical supporters, nobody's going to give you time. Nobody's going to say, oh, give him two months, mm. give him three months. Okay. You play the first game, if it's not good enough, they'll turn on you. Mm. Okay, and this one, Sancho, the... highest valued youngster in the world. Decide, undoubted. Decidedly, really? un undoubted at the moment. There's not a better young player than that guy at the moment. Okay, sure. there's I'm actually sure. Haaland that and is someone 19. Younger, someone young, I mean, someone under 20. Obviously, the best young player is Kylian Mbappe. But okay. under 20, there's not a better player Haaland is... Haaland? Haaland is, is 19. Haaland is a goal scorer. Yeah. But I still overall think Jadon Sancho, overall play, yeah. Is the most okay. influential young player at the moment. I think I agree with you. Okay. Yeah, just off the top of my head, though. Maybe if I think I'm going to sit down, I might fight, come up with someone else. But okay. Anyways, let's go to complete sports now. And uh, Igalo said for United loan extension. Uh, the story is not going to go away. It looks like it's, uh, uh, it's a gimme already, but it still has to be official. Um, indeed, he is criminally underrated. Yeah. That's uh, fans identify, identify Nigerian as the Foxes' our most valuable player. I agree with the it's word. It's underrated? I agree with the word criminally. Mm. It, it is quite criminal. Even Didi was French. 
if it was English, if it was English, ah. they'll be bursting rooftops about him. Yeah. I think he's he's world class. I okay. agree. All right, I, I don't I think agree. there are many players in our team, in national team, that we can use the word world class alongside. Mm, I think Diddy is world class. Well, wow. Okay. Uh, wow. Sporting life is the last one uh, this morning, and this one. EPL starts to protest against closed doors matches. You mentioned this earlier. I and mean, the decision how do you, be made how do you, do, how do you, they start how do you play football or any sport at all <laughs> with our fans? So they're saying, if the fans can return to the stadium, we're going to protest against us playing more like it. Yeah, mm. Mm, yeah. Right. I, I, I think it's not fair. It's not fair to the footballers. It's not fair to the fans. Okay. I mean, how do you play with an empty stadium? Real Madrid so, wants Holland. Uh -huh. um, Real Madrid, my United monitor, Siemens. Siemens as well. I mean, <laughs> it's going to get all these uh, Ellen, advances uh, from the big clubs. Which is natural. Thank you so much for coming on the program. This Thank morning. you. Appreciate your time for braving these trying times to come. Thank you. Appreciate it. All Thank right. you guys for watching. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Bye for now. I am Ty Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day.